everyone. Welcome to Plants and Politics. So this is a really strange story. Not at all what it started out as, but here's the deal. Former Clinton aide and Clinton family friend Doug Band, who I've talked about on the show before, he allegedly met with prosecutors in the Southern District of New York back just a couple months ago in December of 2020 and provided them with information about Bill Clinton's ties to Jeffrey Epstein. The story was published last night in the Daily Beast. I saved the link so I could share this information with you, but then when I clicked on the link today, the story had been scrubbed from their print publication. And if you're on YouTube, I've included a screenshot so you can see that I tried to log in to review the story today, but it's gone. Daily Beast did not, however, remove the brief summary of their story from their podcast feed. So again, if you're on YouTube, you can see the screenshot I took of that page, which shows that the information is still there. In addition, this story was originally published on a site called Radar Online. I had never heard of it before, but when I looked at the Daily Beast story, it noted at the bottom that that's where the story came from and they provided a link to Radar Online. When I look for this story on Radar Online, once again, you'll see, if you're watching on YouTube, a screenshot showing that the story was also scrubbed from their website. So I'm not sure why this story was pulled, but as I said, this is very odd because if the story was untrue, you would think that Daily Beast would pull it from all of their pages. So you would think that they would remove the podcast version as well. But like I said, it, that is still up at least as of this afternoon. And this is not the first time that Doug Band has come up in regard to the Epstein-Clinton connection. I previously shared with you on the show that Band gave an interview to Vanity Fair in that interview he alleged that Clinton had, in fact, visited Epstein's private island. He did not, just to be fair, he did not tell Vanity Fair that he knew of any illegal activity or anything he had done wrong, but he did say that he was concerned about Clinton's ties to Epstein. So this is all very strange. If I hear anything more, I will let you know, but that was what the story was or is, is that he apparently is working with prosecutors involved in the Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell case. That's all I know for now, guys. I'll keep you posted. As always, thanks so much for watching and listening. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk with you soon. Take care.